Oh shit, I'm filming. <laughs> God, I pressed record. Oh my God, that's funny. Hi guys, um, today we're gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna update you on my life and we're just gonna get ready even though it's five o'clock and I have nowhere to go. Um, I got some new products. I wanted, not new, but like, you know, some new things I really like that I wanna show you guys how I use. I'm just excited for fall. I am. Today's like the second cold day of the year and I'm living for it even though yesterday I went out and I was completely unprepared, like, Oh my god, I was so cold. <laughs> I met my mom while I was out and she like did this crazy mom thing. And I was like, yeah, I'm really cold. And she just like whips out a scarf and like wraps me up and I'm like, is this like, is this like some kind of instinct that like comes with having a baby? You just like know to have certain things. But then I said I was hungry and she didn't feed me. So maybe it's not like 100%. I don't know. But yeah, let's get ready. I just dampened my beauty blender a little bit more. As you can see, I'm breaking out like a motherfucker. Like, what is this? What what are all these things? But it's okay. We shall prosper even with our breakouts. Oh. Browse first, always. So lately I've been, oh wait, no. Lately I've been using the It Cosmetics, but that was just at work. But I'm still ride or die for my brow whiz. But before that I have to prime. Well, I'm like all over the place, my bad guys. I'm gonna start off by priming with my favorite primer of all time at the moment. Not at the moment, but like, all the time. <laughs> this is the Dior Skin Forever and Ever Wear Extreme Perfection and Hold Primer. Sorry, my phone vibrates really loud. But this shit keeps your makeup on all day. So you shake it really, really well. It's in this little toddle. Oh shit, let me shut off my AC. One second. Okay, me just texting me like a million times right now. I love it, but also like you're ruining my audio, babe. Um, so yeah, put that all over your face and this stuff sticks your foundation so so well i cannot rave about it enough but it's not that smoothing so i do go in with a little bit of a smoothing primer a tiny bit because if you put if you put too much primer on whoa i'm out of focus so if you put too much primer on your your foundation is going to slip and slide around so i'm just going to do a little bit of the dr brandt pores no more this is like og fave like look at this bottle it's obviously well loved um and then i just warm that up between my fingers and then i just kind of press it in the areas that I'm like most texturized, which is like here and then wherever my breakouts are, which is kind of like my whole face right now, to be honest. Okay, now that we're primed, we can go ahead and do brows. I, you know, quite honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then I'll come back because we all know how long brows take, at least for me, they take forever. I'm back, brows are on, I also prime my lids. Um, yeah, so I did this look the other night. When was it? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday night. Me and Meech went out to this really cool, really cool. Oh, wait, you know what? I'm going to put on my little headband that keeps my hair back. Because especially when I do my face mask, I mean my face makeup, my bronzer gets all in my blonde hairline. <laughs> because I'm like so blonde. Not really my roots right now, obviously. But. I'm so blonde that like my hairline will be all like bronze and it'll look fucked up. So I put on this headband. I can't remember the name of the company, but I got it at Beautycon and it says OMG on here and I use it when I wash my face and stuff. It's like really obnoxious, but also kind of cute, maybe a little. <laughs> um, but yeah, me and Meech, my boyfriend, if you guys didn't know, I have a boyfriend. He's really cute and his name is Meech. Um, where's my rag? Oh, um, we went to this really cool, sorry, there's a lot of noises in the hallway. I live right by the lobby. So um we went to this really cool jimmy kimmel event so jimmy kimmel live is coming back to brooklyn and we live in brooklyn so we got to go to this event that he had um in like in the red hook area and it was so much free food so much free liquor like it was bomb um and yeah so i did a really cool makeup look for it so i'm gonna try to recreate that but some of the shadows i used i can't use in this look because they're top secret no i'm not coming out with a makeup line i don't have any collaborations like come on for real that would never happen <laughs> or it's not gonna happen right now anyway but i can't use them because they're developments from my old job life update number one <laughs> um and i can't use them but i tried to find similar colors so hopefully we can pull it off but yeah i'm gonna use the master palette by mario from anastasia and i realized that i know the spectrum palette um that they is that is that what was it called what it was called the spectrum palette i don't know whatever that new palette that came out that every that all the controversy about the fallout was happening i realized that this one has a lot of fucking fallout too so i think it's just an anastasia shadow thing um so i'm taking lula on an e40 
and I'm gonna buff this into the crease. Um, blow it out like a lot. This shade's actually a lot darker than it appears in the pan. Actually, no, now that I look at it, it looks really dark. But anyway, yeah, buff this out a lot, especially if you're fair, like this might actually be too dark. You might have to go in with something lighter, but you know, we make it work. So yeah, life update number one, I quit my job. <laughs> Technically, I am a full-time YouTuber slash makeup artist at the moment. And quite honestly, I couldn't be happier because Putting my all into YouTube and giving it like a fair shot is something I've always wanted to do and I never really got to. So I know it's a huge transition between not posting videos like ever and like then becoming a full-time YouTuber but you know my life works in many mysterious ways so that's just the way it's going right now. But yeah it was a big choice if you know me then you know that I don't take these things lightly. Um, I graduated from college a year no a year and a half ago now and I jumped right into working immediately because that's what I thought I was supposed to do and I had kind of well on paper what seemed to be my dream job but it didn't turn out that way. Um, I was doing cosmetic product development for a wonderful company that I still love and cherish but it just wasn't for me at the time so I decided that if I was ever going to give YouTube a fair shot and like uh like give it my all then was the perfect time to do it because I was looking for other jobs and I wasn't finding any and it just seemed to kind of fall into place that way but I'm very excited about it honestly I'm super pumped to be home and film all the fucking time okay so it's been about like two years since I kind of fell off my YouTube grind because I was I mean I don't know how long you guys have been around but I used to be pretty popping like I was growing and then I just fell off and it's been two about two years since I kind of fell off and like took a long ass break and then it was just spotty as hell from now and then but if you think like if I think back my life was a complete 180 from where it is now back then like whoo like two years ago I'm going in with Violetta and an E25 two years ago I was in an unhappy relationship. I was still in college. I wasn't interning for the company I ended up working for. I had no job whatsoever. I was I was just really unhappy, to be honest. Between then and now, I've graduated college. I have gone through a huge breakup. I've also met the man of my dreams, and I'm so, so happy now. And I thought found what I thought was my dream job, and it turned out not to be. Um, and I quit. So a lot has happened within two years, but I'm really, really happy with my decision. I think it's going to be really, really good for me. Um, product development was amazing and it is a huge passion of mine. Honestly, if I think about it, I think cosmetic product development is probably my calling in life. But right now, I don't think it's what I'm supposed to be doing. And everything happens for a reason. There's a reason that job didn't work out and we're going to embrace it and make the best of it and just make the most of all of the opportunities that fall into place. So I'm very happy. <laughs> you know when you say I'm very happy like too many times and it's like, okay, you're like trying to convince yourself now. <laughs> no, but really I am. <laughs> what other life updates do we have? I went to Mexico last weekend, which was so much fun. We went for our friend's wedding. They got married and it was so beautiful, like a beach wedding, so gorgeous. And everybody there was so nice and we had such an amazing time. And I got a little bit of a tan. I got honestly more of a tan in one weekend than I did the whole fucking summer. So it was beautiful. It was October and I came back to work with a tan and then I quit. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna go in with this thing. This is the NYX Full Throttle Shadow Stick in the shade Double Trouble. Um, it's like a uh, it's like a Kelly Green color, which I'm obsessed with lately. It's probably because me just such a Jets fan. Okay, I'm gonna take this cut crease brush, the E62 from Sigma, and get it on the brush. This is actually a genius brush, guys. Like the shape is perfect. These are really nice and pigmented. When you put it on a br with a brush, it's not as pigmented, so I'm gonna have to layer it, but it's really nice. I tried really, really hard to keep YouTube going while I was working full time, but if you know me in real life, you know I can't half-ass two things. I can only whole-ass one thing. Name that show. I'll name it for you. It's Parks and Rec, Ron Swanson. <laughs> um, 
so yeah it was really really hard for me i just like could not find the motivation or the will to come home from work and film something and like i cherished my weekend so much because i was like so not happy in my job that like on the weekends i just wanted to fucking hang out with my boyfriend and my friends and my family and get wasted all the time which i don't think is too much to ask so yeah i just never wanted to film on the weekend during the week i felt like dead when i came home because my commute was like almost three hours a day so you will be seeing me a lot more and we're gonna have a great fucking time you guys yeah this brush is genius for cutting a crease like all you have to do is swipe it and it makes that crease for you. God damn it, this is perfect. Okay, we're lit as a bitch. I look like a psycho. You know when you do a smoky eye before you put on foundation, you literally look insane, but it is fine. Okay, so the shadow I used that I can't show you, <laughs> it, it was like a really beautiful sparkly like Kelly green, almost like a little bit on the blue side with like a ton of sparkle in it, but I don't have any shadows that look like that. So we're gonna have to, you know, duplicate it. So I put this green down and then I'm gonna take this Stila Metallic Pixie Dust, which is, oh my God, gorgeous. It's one of their foiled shadows. And all I'm gonna do, cause these are kind of hard to work with, honestly. So I'm just gonna take it on my finger and I'm just gonna put it right on top. Let's see, is that working? You know, it doesn't look the same, but it is pretty. This one's kind of overpowering the green. So it kind of just looks like gold with a green undertone now, but I still like it, honestly. So Meech and I are throwing an ugly Christmas sweater party this year, and we sent the invitation out on October 2nd or something crazy like that. Then we were like, wow, did we just send a holiday invitation in the beginning of October? Yup, but his, all his friends live back home in DC, so like we wanted to give them time to plan, because they a lot of them have kids as well. So we wanted to give them time to plan so that they would be able to come because obviously we want them there and his mom and stuff, you know, like we want his family to come too. But when you live like six states away, how many, I don't, I don't know how many states DC is away. <laughs> I don't know how far it is, but it's far. Like it's not across the street. Like you have to plan to drive up here, take a bus or whatever, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead with some winged liner. This is the Maybelline um, Eye Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black. Honestly, like I've tried so many gel liners and this is the one I always go back to high-end drugstore both like this is the shit sometimes i really fuck up my eyeliner and i just like keep pushing through hoping for the best like what is that okay we're just gonna take a little bit of a makeup wipe and we're gonna make it work that's it oh fuck <laughs> okay oh that's, that, that's not bad okay oh fuck i did it on this side too come on it's just a bad liner day we're just gonna have to given uh, uh uh my head hurts and i think it's this headband i think i'm gonna take it off yep it was the headband it was definitely the headband now i look like a cone head fucking shit okay you guys i think it's time for face makeup so we already primed for foundation i'm gonna use a mixture of this new too faced uh peaches and cream foundation and a little bit of the kevin aquan sensual skin enhancer because i'm very 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 blemishy right now and i need some more coverage like let's be real about it so the shade i am in the peaches and cream is warm nude so i'm gonna do about two and a half pumps and then I'm gonna do just like a little, a little nail flick of the Kevin Aquan. Is that a degree of measurement? Yeah, I just, oh fuck, I had the thing. Ugh, I'm mixing it on the back of my hand, even though I had a little coaster thing. Annoying. Then I'm gonna put it on my face. I like to put it on my face before I blend it out with the beauty blender because I feel like when I just dip my beauty blender into it, my beauty blender gets all like, caked up with um foundation and they don't last as long i've definitely noticed that so i put it on my face first and then i go in and blend it out with the beauty blender i really really like this Too faced foundation um if you'd like to see a full review of it i'll totally do that for you guys so just let me know in the comments i have a bunch of foundations i want to review so let me know of any that you're interested in and i'll see if i can pick them up 
or if I already have them. Let's see, what other life updates do we have? Um, Meech and I, are, we planned a trip to Paris in February for Valentine's Day, so that's super exciting. I cannot wait to go back to Paris. Paris is probably, other than New York, my favorite place in the entire world. Actually, it might beat New York. I don't know. We'll see when I come back and I have a second opinion. We also maybe want to do Thailand in 2018 just because I've been like really itching to go. Like everybody goes to Thailand now and I'm like, why haven't I gone? And I think we're gonna do um, upstate New York, like a ski trip for my birthday in December. Just us, like a little romantic little thing. So I'm excited for that. I feel like every time I do my makeup on camera, it just like doesn't, like my foundation just like doesn't sit well. Is it the lighting? Is it like, I, I don't know what it is. So the concealer I use is obviously the concealer everybody else in the world uses. It's the Tarte Shape Tape. I have the shade Light Neutral. And honestly, you guys, like, I know it's so hyped up and you're probably so tired of hearing about it, but it's just a good fucking concealer, dude. Like, there's nothing more you can say about it. It's just really, really good. I always start by blending out the middle of my face, like everything but the under eye first when I blend out my concealer because I like the under eye to sit there for a little bit and um, get like kind of soak in a little bit, set a little bit so that it gives more coverage. I used to, actually sometimes I still do, will like put it on before the foundation and let it sit a long time and that gives you really, really full coverage. So I saw it a few weeks ago. And I was really disappointed, honestly. I'm a huge horror movie buff. Like, horror movies are my favorite kind of movies, like, since I was a little kid. I don't know what kind of creepy little girl I was, but I just always wanted to watch horror movies. And it didn't scare me, not even once. Literally, not one jump. I was bored. On No, I, would, I wouldn't say I'm, I was bored because it was a good movie, but to me, it just, like, wasn't a horror movie. I was not scared even a little bit. I saw that whole James Charles controversy on Twitter about the movie and I was like, you know what? I don't know that I necessarily agree with the way he went about it, but I definitely agree with his opinion of the movie because it's definitely the same opinion I have. Yeah, I wasn't scared at all. I wouldn't say it was a bad movie. I did. Eh. I didn't enjoy it because I expected to be scared, but I thought it was pretty good. Like the storyline was good, the plotline was good. I just wasn't scared at all and I really wanted to be. Um, the powder I'm using to set my under eyes, the Sasha setting powder. This is in the um, translucent shade. I know a lot of women of color rave about the Sasha Buttercup powder and I was so jealous that I couldn't use it. <laughs> so I was like, do they have a, a white one? <laughs> And I went on Amazon and looked and it turns out they do and it is bomb. So if you guys are fair like me or can't use the Sasha Buttercup because it's too yellow and dark for you, give this one a try because I am obsessed with it. Although right now I look like Flashback Mary, <laughs> but it's okay. That will go away when I put my other powder on. But this stuff sets your, your concealer so well. It doesn't have any flashback, even though right now I look white as hell. Um, and it's just so finely milled. It just really looks beautiful on the face. Like, it's very similar to the RCMA No Color Powder, I would say. I use them interchangeably. Ha! <sighs> and then for the rest of my face, this is a new powder fave of mine as well. This is the Infallible Pro Matte Powder. Um, I have the shade 300 Nude Beige. And this brush. This is the NYX 03 brush. It's like a big dome uh, powder brush. Or, I don't know. It's just like a big dome brush. It's very dense. Um, I know Jackie Ina uses this for her foundation a lot, but I use it for powder. And I just get my powder on it and then press it into my skin and it locks everything into place. It is magical. Now that we're all set in place, we can go ahead and bronze. My, one of my favorite bronzers are the Black Opal uh, Oil Absorbing Press Powder in Dark Cocoa. It's a powder foundation, obviously, but it's a shade deeper than mine. The shade I use in this powder um, that's actually my shade is Almond. It's one of the lightest shades. Um, but this one I use as bronzer. It's dark cocoa. I go ahead with the Makeup Forever 122 uh, stippling brush, and I just go in and buff it on. This brush is so, any like stippling brush like this is so good for bronzing because it just does the work for you. Like you put it on and it doesn't make it too heavy. It just blends it out beautifully. It's just so easy. Um, then for blush, I'm gonna go in with basically the only blush I use at the moment. This is Madly from NARS and it's just a beautiful 
amazing color. Like it just goes with everything. If you're my skin tone or a little lighter or a little darker, like maybe like my shade plus or minus like three shades, um, this is a great blush for literally any look ever. It just is amazing. So now for highlight, we're gonna do a combo. I'm gonna start with this Fenty Kilowatt highlight in Mean Money and Hustle Baby. I basically take this M510 brush and I just run it over both of them because I'm, I'm like this weird OCD person where I don't want to use one side more than the other so I just always mix them because I know I'm not going to use this one alone ever. Um, so then I'm just going to put that on. Okay now I'm going to finish up my eyes before we go any further. I'm literally just going to take, this is the Luxie one 21 mini tapered brush. It is one of my favorite brushes for um, smoking out the under eye. I'm just gonna go into um, Violetta. Just one shade. I don't really need two today. I'm just gonna run this all under the eye. It's gonna make it super smoky and blown out. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? I remember on Saturday I did this makeup and then I was like, oh my god, like I really wanted to wear this red dress but I have green eyeshadows. Is that gonna be too Christmas? And I just realized that I'm wearing another red dress, a different red dress. I only own two red dresses and I fucking decided to both wear them both when I was gonna do green makeup. Like, I'm a mess. It's all about creative expression and apparently I'm ready for the holidays. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this Stila smudge stick in Spice. It's a really pretty like red, rich brown. I'm just gonna put that on my waterline. And then... Okay, this is what's really gonna set it off, you know what I mean? So then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the Moonchild palette from Anastasia, which I love, but I like don't use it enough because I don't know, these like special effect highlighters, I love them, but like how often are you supposed to wear these things, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna go into Lucky Clover, stick with the green tones, and we're gonna pop this right in the inner corner. I did this on Saturday and I was like, whoa, this is dope. I'm gonna do a little bit under the brow just because I think the green like the green tone in that highlight like really sets it off I think it's so cool and then because a mama's feel because mom's feeling a little bit extra we're gonna take it I'm just taking this real techniques like fluffy brush and I'm gonna take it a little bit on top of the highlight just like a little bit just make it a little bit green not like all the way green just a little bit green there you go and then I'm just gonna do the tip of my nose. Not the whole, just the tip. <laughs> uh, then a little bit on the cupid's bow. And that's about it, baby. Okay. For lashes, I'm gonna do the Ardell Double Up Double Demi Wispies. These are so pretty. The double, the double wispies are gorgeous, but these are like shorter and they just like, poof, like make your lashes look so, so full. Okay, time for lippies. Okay, since I'm like this blonde now, I can go a lot lighter with my lip color. And I love it like like super bombshell like playboy nude lips like almost concealer lips and I fucking love it um, so to start but I do like to do like an ombre lip because I love like a dimensional nude lip so I'm gonna start with this NYX intimidate lip liner this is the slide on glide on liners um, and I'm gonna go ahead and line I do overline a little bit because I'm the one percent of youtubers that haven't gotten lip fillers yet <laughs> Then I'm gonna go in with Kylie Cosmetics Coco K um, Clo Money lipstick, liquid lipstick. I know this is a limited edition, but it's not. It's just like a yellowy, darkish, medium shade nude. It's like a yellowy peach. There you go. Um, but I like to add some more dimension. So I'm gonna go in with Tardis uh, Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in Pillow Talk. This is like fucking nude, dude. Uh, it's like con straight up concealer lips and I'm gonna put that in the center okay mm -mm -mm. I don't like like these light nudes in a liquid lipstick form I don't like on their own I think they're a little too aggressive is that the right word I don't know they just look too ah crazy kind of I think we're gonna have to top it off with the gloss to make it a little Less chola. We're gonna go with an old classic white Russian from Buxom because it never fails me. Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's what it needed. Then I'm just gonna set everything with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. I've tried many setting sprays in my life and this is about the only one that I like. 
I still have yet to try that Morphe one. Everybody says they love it, so I think that's on my shopping list. But I'm going to go ahead and spritz this. Ooh, these roots. If you want to know how I got my hair this blonde, then I'm going to link my hairdresser down below. If you're in the New York area, then you got to hit her up. She's my friend in real life, actually. Her name is Zoe, and she is incredible, especially if you have, like, ethnic hair. That's, like, her specialty is bleaching ethnic hair and, like, not making it fall the fuck out. Although mine is very damaged, but I think that's my own fault and not hers. Um, I mean, you're obviously going to have damage when you deal with bleach in any hair type, but... Yeah, she's really good at what she does. She specializes in like bright colors and she's amazing. So I'm going to link her down below so that you guys can check her out just in case you're in the market. But yeah, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, this little chit chat with me. I give you some life updates. Hopefully that's a good catch up on where I've been and what I'm doing and where I will be going. <laughs> So like I said, I'm full time on YouTube now. So if there are any videos that you want to see from me, go ahead and leave that in the comments down below. If you have any questions for me, you can go ahead and leave those in the comments. Maybe I'll do a Q&A soon. I don't know. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in a few days.